Having previously reviewed many aviation disasters that occurred throughout the world, Jet Airways Flight 555, although initially not classified as a serious accident, it was considered eventually due to the gravity of the occurrence. Before we get into what happened, let's go over what go around implies because we will be referencing it a lot. A go around which is an aircraft maneuver simply discontinues a landing approach as depicted. There are numerous reasons why this occurs, such as an obstruction on the runway, the aircraft not being in the proper configuration, or anything else that the crew deems dangerous to the safety of the passengers and the aircraft. On August 17, 2015, a Boeing 737-800 with registration number VTJFA was operating a scheduled routinely trip from Doha, Qatar to Cochin, India, with the majority of the passengers originating from India. There were 142 passengers on board and 8 crew members. This Boeing 737 was delivered to Jet Airways after being leased from Oryx Aviation, a worldwide operational lesser located in Dublin with a fleet of about 220 aircraft. Plane is presently in service with called Transportes Aereos, a Brazilian carrier based in Rio de Janeiro. The 9W555 departed Doha International Airport at 19.37 UTC and made contact with Cochin ATC at 23.00 UTC, with visibility reported to be 3,500 meters. The ILS runway 27 at Cochin International Airport has a visual range of 650 meters, which is used to evaluate landing and takeoff conditions for aircraft pilots. Since the weather conditions deteriorated over time, the crew of 9W555 initiated the first go around at 2358 UTC, as they were unable to see the runway owing to low clouds. Soon after, Cochin ATC announced that the visibility at Cochin had fallen to 2000 meters, as opposed to 3500 meters first reported and that with reduced visibility, a comparable Boeing 737 of Air India Express, which was ahead of 9W555, also performed a go-around. While the Jet Airways Flight 555 crew reviewed other destinations and fuel requirements at the nearest airports such as Bangalore, Trivandrum, and Coimbatore, the pilot in command continued with second approach, unable to sight the runway, conducted the second go-around. Because the minimum legal needed fuel for the trip was 16,100 kgs, 9W555 was actually dispatched with 15,295 kgs due to fuel policy, predicted weather, and other delays. The minimum diversion fuel for Flight 555, which is the bare minimum of fuel required by law, to be on hand at the missed approach point for the runway at the destination airport, was 3,919 kgs which was more than enough for Bangalore as an alternate destination. But the pilot in command chose Trivandrum as its final destination. 9W555 initiated a third approach to ILS runway 27 at Cochin 33 minutes after the second go-around. However, the crew was unable to sight the runway again, as visibility had dropped to 1500 meters in mist and low clouds at 400 feet. Since the weather in Cochin was deteriorating, the pilot in command chose Trivandrum as an alternate destination at 0017 UTC soon after making contact with Trivandrum ATC. The visibility decreased to 1500 meters. It appears like 9W555 has had a string of bad luck. As the Jet Devils Flight 555 was vectored to runway 14 with visibility of 2000 meters, the crew was unable to sight the runway throughout both approach and landing, resulting in the loss of the first go around at Trimando, but the fourth go around up to this point. Once the go around was completed, the pilot in command requested a right hand visual circuit for runway 14 and turned base. Unlike the previous approaches made by the crew of Flight 555, this time they were fortunate to see the runway inside. But since they were too high and it was too risky, they chose to initiate the second go around. All the while the crew attempted to land the Boeing 737, they were depleting the fuel on board. With all the go arounds and holding patterns, 9W555 fuel had dropped to 1300 kgs, down from 15,295 kgs when it was first assigned. Following the second go-around, the pilot in command requested a circling approach for the runway 14 at Trivandrum, but were not aligned with the runway and were late in sighting, resulting in the third go-around at Trivandrum and the sixth overall. As they climbed to 700 feet, the pilot in command of 9W555 
requested a direct 180 degrees left turn to self position with the inborn runway without any visual contact with the runway. The ground proximity warning systems, including the bank ankle blaring, as the aircraft maneuvered at low altitude and terrain. The crew, which is now the seventh approach, landed safely at Trivandrum International Airport. The 142 passengers and eight crew members on board were all unharmed. There was no fire or damage to the aircraft. After refueling in Trivandrum, the crew flew the passengers back to Cochin. Following the inquiry, the investigative board reached the following conclusions and probable causes. The pilot in command chose the destination Trivandrum over Bangalore, despite the fact that Bangalore had better weather conditions and minimum diversion fuel was greater than the needed quantity. The pilot in command also chose to ignore the multiple ground proximity warning systems on the last, which was the seventh approach putting passengers and aircraft's life in jeopardy. The Jet Airways Operation Handbook or the policy made no mention of the number of approaches that must be completed before considering a diversion and redesignating an alternate destination. As with many such air mishaps, suggestions are always given to prevent similar occurrences in the future. The DGCA, the Civil Aviation Authority of India, advised that Jet Airways create a policy on the number of approaches and missed approaches in severe weather. The Aviation Authority also urged Jet Airways to incorporate low fuel situations into the pilot simulator training sessions. Despite the fact that Jet Airways ceased operations on April 17, 2019, after being in business since 1993, the airline maintained an exceptional record in flight safety, resulting in no significant aviation tragedies. I hope you leave a like and subscribe to my channel.